I don't want I want to start off by giving all praise, glory, honor, due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushah, Bahashem, Bakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. No respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. Come back at you with another lesson, and this lesson is pretty much going to be rolling in the spirit. Uh, we're going to pretty much hit up particular topics. And um, basically, pretty much we're going to be going into, you know, the end times. You know, it's like, let me get my thing to add right here. Pretty much going to be going into the end times and, you know, different, you know, things that are going on throughout the earth. Um, it's very important to understand that prophecy is coming to pass. And one of the things that you will know that, that prophecy come to pass, you see the fall of this man's kingdom. You see, uh, wickedness is at an all-time high. And, you're, and you see people that are covered in gross darkness. You see how Bashim al Shah is visiting the world which he made. You see increased sightings of what the world entity call UFOs or UAPs. But we know those that are in the truth. We know they are the chariots, the vehicles of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah that the angels patrol in and give and uh, doing different types of activities and reporting the things that which they see in the world, reporting them to the you know, you how about Shem Al Shah. In the midst of all these things you have going on, you know, you have plagues, you have pestilence, you have uproars of the people, you have the devil, you know, coming with great wrath, you pass on righteous decrees, you have a, a whole bunch of things that are going on in the world. And it's so much news and information that's contained the prophecy that's going on in the world, you know, is it, uh, humanly impossible to report on every little thing that you see going on. You know what I'm saying? Because you always got particular events that are going on in the world. You know what I'm saying? But, um, you know, but, you know, the scriptures tells us that we're supposed to watch as well as pray, meaning that we're supposed to Watch the events that are going on in the world, man. You know what I'm saying? Watch, watch the events, you know, link them up with the scriptures to know what time period that we're in. Because the last thing which, which you need is that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai catch you without your garment. Meaning, catch you, you know, not watching, you know, not, you know, not being diligent. You know, that's what it's all about at the end of the day. Because, you know, the men, women, and children of Israel, you know, particularly the elect, is crying out for this rulership to end. Because you see all types of wickedness, all types of abominations, you know what I'm saying? You see the vegetation that is on, uh, you know, the particular brothers, you know, particular, uh, you know, men, women, and children which believe have to walk and wake up every day to so, to all this wickedness because we understand, you know, pretty much what Lot had to go through because the scripture tells us that Lot was vexed with the conversations of the wicked. You know what I'm saying? He had to go. He had to be under this, under these, uh, you know, this wickedness, this wicked rulership. You know. Being in Sodom and Gomorrah, where people was constantly doing wickedness, you know what I'm saying? No fear of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah whatsoever. And throughout it all, through it all, you know, Lot maintained his integrity. You know, he, he kept following, you know, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. And eventually, you know, he was delivered. And Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed, you know what I'm saying? And the other five regions that was around it. But nevertheless, though, we are 
back in that time period that um, that the, these events are going to take place again, but this time it's going to be a worldwide event, but mainly here in Babylon the Great. And as you see, this place, Babylon the Great, is systematically falling right before your very eyes. You know what I'm saying? Because it's time for this place to be brought down. And it's time for the pride of the Edomites to be brought down. You know what I'm saying? Because these Edomites, they walk around with great pride. They don't believe that uh, this place is going to be taken down. And they don't believe that they're going to be taken down as well, man. But prophecy is already had it written. You know, prophecy is already written for these devils to go down. And prophecy is already already written for uh, Babylon the Great to go down. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very particular scripture. I mean, lots of them that talks about the fall of Babylon the Great. And we're going to dive into some of those. You know, we just going to roll with the spirit this morning. You know what I'm saying? Because it's very important to bring these things out. You know, because it helps us to stay on our toes. You know, help us to know that, you know, according, according to Michael chapter 2, verse 10, before we get this particular scripture, we're going to start off with Michael 2 and 10. But, you know what I'm saying? We got to understand that we don't supposed to get comfortable in this place, man. And let's start out with that. And it reads, um, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. It is polluted. It shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. And our people has got comfortable here with Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? Because these people... You know, want this place to continue. They want Esau's rulership to continue forever. You know what I'm saying? Because two-thirds of our people don't mind being at the bottom for, for Esau Edom, the so-called white man. But we just read to you Michael 2 and 10. It tells us to rise here in the park, for this is not your rest. You know, because it is polluted. It shall destroy you even with a sore destruction. And this place is... It's very polluted. You know, you probably like how it's polluted. It's polluted by uh, wickedness. Every day you have, have uh, uh, a certain form of wickedness that is going on in the earth. You know what I'm saying? And Yah, by Shem and Al-Shah already prophesied that this place, Babylon the Great, is going to be destroyed. And the rulership of Esau Edom is going to be taken down. You know, we're going to go to Isaiah chapter 47, and we're going to start at the first verse. And, and it reads, Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin daughter of Babylon, which is Babylon the Great, you know, a.k.a. America. It says, Sit on the ground. There is no throne, O daughter of the Chaldeans, but thou shalt no more be called tender, and delicate and the rich of Babylon is pretty much over there in Iraq you know what I'm saying that place was just taken over by the Persian and the Medes that place was never you know sat on, sat on the ground but they were just taken over but this scripture is talking about another Babylon which we are currently in now you know Babylon the Great you know aka America because the scriptures tells us that, uh, you know, the northern and southern kingdom is going to be oppressed over here together here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? And, and we are oppressed over here. You know, as you can read the news, you look at prophecy, what's going on, you look at the devil is uh, um, put pushing, you know, the serpent juice, which is going to lead to the MOTB, you know, the corrupt that's what this is uh, coming down to because these devils are, are pretty much losing, you know, the narrative. You know, all, all the time that they were ruling, we didn't know who we were. You know, these devils was taking, you know, they had control of the narrative and everything that 
you thought they said was right. You know what I'm saying? You thought it was golden until your how about him out shot woke us up and put the spirit upon, you know, particular brothers, you know, to go out and teach the true message of your how about him out shot. And one of, and part of that true message is that this place, Babylon the Great, and this particular rulership is going to be brought down. And uh, the more that, that uh, we, we chant this place to, to be brought down, the more plagues, the more pestilence, you know, the more uh, things that are going on in this particular place that you see that it's being systematically brought down. You know what I'm saying? You're saying that, uh, you know, jobs are being scarce. You're saying that they, they're starting to become famous here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? You, you see that the people are, are uh, getting restless. You see their uproars among the people, and particularly the Edomites, because a lot of these Edomites are mad and they're upset over the fact of the matter that they purchased Babylon, uh, they purchased America, what they used to is being pulled out from underneath them. You, you, they the main ones that are out here riding and looting and, 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 and speaking out against this place. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, these, these wicked devils are making, a, are making Jake the face no rebellion and all these things, but we know that it's Esau Edom. But it, it's all prophesied in the scripture that this place is going to go down. And, it, and you see that it's going down. And if any, you have any Israelite that are chatting, are saying that, you know, you know, God bless America, you know, something to that effect. You know, they behind deserve to be destroyed along with Babylon the Great, man. Because the Most High is not dealing with America in no shape, form, or fashion. He's willing to destroy this place. Because wickedness at this place is at an all-time high. You know, and this place is going to sit on the ground. And how is it going to sit on the ground? You know, first and foremost, it's sitting on the ground. You know, um, you know, uh, financially, you know, we over $30, $35 trillion in debt. No way to pay it back. You got jobs. Jobs are being uh, uh, taken. Yeah, people are quitting their jobs. You know what I'm saying? Over the juice. You know what I'm saying? Businesses is closing. You can get that in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 3 through roughly about 7 or 8. You know what I'm saying? The grinding is ceasing. You know, people are leaving their jobs. You know, and, and you got people up, up, uh, revolting. You got famines. You know, it, it's a lot of things that are going on that your local news media is not going to tell you, you know, because they want you to believe in the midst of all these things that are going on that this place, Babylon the Great, is fine, you know, but we know that it's not because this place is going to stay down the ground. You know what I'm saying? And it's being revealed on every level. It's reading uh, verse 2. It says, take the millstones and grind mill, uncover the locks, make bare the leg, uncover the thigh, pass over the rivers. Verse 3, thy nakedness shall be uncovered. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. I will take vengeance, and I will not meet thee as a man. And Yahweh Shemal Shah you know, particularly your house shot coming back with the host of heaven, which are the angels. He's going to come back and he's going to systematically, well, he's particularly, he's going to take this place down. He's going to take down this particular rulership. You know, he's not going to come back as a house shot that, you know, that was in Matthew, you know, in the beginning that he died for. The house of Israel, he's not coming back as that man. He's coming back as a powerful, pissed off Negro in a jelly form. He's going to come back in, in his spiritual body, man. He's going to come back in that spiritual form along with the angels and, you know, inside the uh, the chariots, which you were, this was the word inwardly called, you know, 
the UFOs or UAPs. He coming back into that. And what he coming back for? He coming back to take vengeance upon upon uh Esau, even so called white man and all those that are joined unto him. And he's gonna get his lip back for what happened to him over two thousand years ago when he had to when he had to suffer, you know, on the cross, you know what I'm saying, for the house of Israel. And he's coming back, you know, in in, in the new revived Roman Empire, man. He's coming back to take vengeance. And he's not going to meet, you know, Esau, Edom as a man. He's coming back in a jet of power. You know what I'm saying? And the E-Devils know that, that why you think that the E-Devils are building a space force? Why? Because they know that, they know the scriptures. You know, they know that Yahweh shot coming back with the angels. You know what I'm saying? They know that he's coming back to, to take vengeance upon those that are his enemies. And Esau Edom is his main enemy. Also the uh the heathen nations as well as two thirds of Israel, man, that joined unto him and that and they want this man kingdom to, to continue. You know, you 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 are uh, you are an enemy and your house shot gonna take you down. And and and, and uh you know the E devils know that. Verse 4, it said, As for our Redeemer, Yahweh host is his name, the Holy One of Israel. Sit thou silent and, and get thee into darkness, O daughter of the Chaldeans. For thou, for thou shalt no more be called the Lady of Kingdoms, and the Most High is going to take this place down. And we see this place is sending all types of wickedness, all types of confusion, you know what I'm saying? And everything that Yahweh made, that we know according to the scriptures that it's good, you know, your how you know, your house shot and uh, Alahim, you know, which are the powers, you know, everything that you see right before you, you know, it, it was made good. But, you know, the devil being in power, you know, he, he you know, he wants everything to be the total opposite. Because he thinks that he he knows more than your how about him how shot knows. And but we know that this is not the case at all. This devil has a lot to pay for, man. You know, and um, and furthermore, that this place is gonna go down. We're gonna go to Jeremiah, you know, the fifty-first chapter. We're gonna read a few scriptures of that. You know, what I'm saying we're gonna probably read pretty much the uh, uh, first nine verses. And uh, you can also go back to Jeremiah chapter 50 and 49 as well, you know, 49 and 50. You know, I advise you to read those chapters as well. It talks about, you know, pretty much the wisdom of uh, of Esau, Edom, then 50 and 51 also goes into uh, Babylon the Great. But we're going to uh, read uh, Jeremiah the 51st chapter. And we're going to start at the first verse. And it reads, Thus said Yahweh, Behold, I will raise up against Babylon and against them that that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me a destroying wind. And let's see what this destroying wind is, you know, in the uh, you know, in in the Greek. Let's let's see what that what that is, you know. Know, I know when it said, uh, or oh, it's Ruah. Strong's age 7307. Ruach, Ruach. It said Ruach. You know, it, 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 was, uh, got, it got, uh, it said wind, breath, mind, spirit. Well, let's see what the drawing is. Let me see what that is in the uh, in the Greek. He said it, it got sh it's a hot. But let's see what that is. Uh, shall shall hath. Strong's age seventy eight forty three. Shall hath. Shall hath. Shall hath. It it reads to destroy, corrupt, to ruin, decay, to be marred. 
be spoiled, be corrupted, be corrupt, be injured, ruined, or rotted. You know what I'm saying? They're destroying when, you know, they're not going to pretty much go into it. They're destroying when it's going to be those ICBMs, which are the thermonuclear missiles. You know what I'm saying? And let's, but let's continue over verse 2. And it reads, I will say it unto Babylon fairness, that shall fan her, and shall empty her land. For the day of trouble shall be against her round about. And let's see what uh, the word fairness is. You know what I'm saying? You know, it's very important to look up words, you know, to understand the meaning of what you're reading. You know what I'm saying? And it, and this is a uh, zoo war. You know, uh, Strong's age twenty one fourteen. Zua. 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 And it uh and it reads to be strange, be a stranger, to be a strange, strange another stranger, foreigner and enemy. It's a loathsome or breath. You know what I'm saying? The loathsome and you know, loathsome of breath, you know what I'm saying? So let's let's continue. Verse three said, "Against him that bend it, let the archer bend his bow, and against him that lifted up himself up, lifting himself up in his bended thing, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her hosts and and those who are left." Here in Babylon the Great, and um, you know when the chariots come back and deliver the elect, if you here in Babylon the Great, you <clears throat> you you pretty much you're gonna be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why we urge our people to repent and come back to the ways of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? We tell you, you know, don't take particular things according to the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Don't take the Jews. You know what I'm saying? Don't don't take um uh, you know don't take the Karabma, don't take the M O T B. You know what I'm saying? Don't partic don't be participate or agree to be in the devil system because we already know what's gonna happen. But you know, you high with we're gonna get to that a little later. Uh let but let's continue. Verse four said, Thus the slain shall fall into the land of the Chaldeans. Which the new child is is Babylon the Great, aka America. And they shall man, they that are thrust through in her streets. You know, verse five said, For Israel had not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power. Yahweh of hosts, do their land was filled with sin against the Holy One of Israel. Flee out of the midst of Babylon, and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity, for the time of Yahweh's vengeance, he will render unto her a recompense. And when it said to flee out of Mr. Babylon, it's not telling you to go and get a passport and leave and go into another country because you, because uh, we are under the curses. So wherever you go, you're going to be oppressed. It's talking about in a spiritual sense to flee out of the ways of Babylon are great. And, we, and you can get that in Revelation chapter 18, verse 4, when it says, you know, it pretty much says to come out of her, my people, and that you be partaker of what was sin, uh, be not partaker of her sins, and that you receive not, a, not of her plagues. You know what I'm saying? It basically telling you to spiritually get out of her, man. You know, come out of the ways of this wicked society. And, and you're going to have a lot of our people that's going to uh, be cut off, you know, in Babylon the Great because a lot of them, they, they're too attached to this system. And whenever you say something against it, they label you as the enemy. And you how about Shem al is going to visit this place, you know what I'm saying, which he already is, you know, through these plays, you know, taking this place down. And, and, um, and he's going to cut this place off and this place is going to be a heap forever, man. Verse 7, Jeremiah 51 and 7, and it reads, Babylon has been a golden cup in Yahweh's hand that made all the earth drunken. 
the nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And you see these nations are getting up for war against Babylon the Great. You can read that in uh, Revelation chapter 17. You know what I'm saying? You know, Babylon the Great is no, it's, it, it's the great whore. You know what I'm saying? And, and you get roughly around verse 16 through 17 that this place is going to be burned with fire by these other nations, man. Because all these other nations are going to turn their back on a while. Because they mad at the philosophy that Babylon the Great has produced. And the fruit that it's produced, it, it, it corrupted the people. You know, they corrupted them with that wine, which that wine is false doctrines. You know what I'm saying? They they false doctrines that they push and promote. You know, it caused it cause a confusion, you know, amongst the other nations. And it also it is destroying the ways that Yahweh by Shimmy Al Shah has set up. You know what I'm saying? Because because here in Babylon the Great you know, they uplift the woman over the man, you know what I'm saying? And they and they and and they tell the, the the children that if you don't want to be a particular uh gender, you don't have to be. You you got the right to uh change your gender. You got you, you have a voice in that. And if your parents disagree I trying to stop you, you know you know, they look at they look at the parents are in the wrong. And they look at the child and the right. And these people have been talking to your children, you know what I'm saying, and, and put all types of uh, oppressions upon your children. You know, tell your children that it's okay to see certain things, it's okay to do particular things. And, you know, you ain't got to have your parents' permission. They even go far as that you, you could take the juice and you ain't got to have your parents' permission to do that. You know what I'm saying? These these people are the devil. You know what I'm saying? And and they and they have no bounds in what they're doing. You know, they're gonna continue to do their wickedness. And they and if they, they and they say, oh, if you said something or you trying to rise up against it, then you get laid with some terrorists. You know, that this place has, has to go down because of all the wickedness that is done, man. You know, it said Babylon has been a golden cup in your house hand that made all the earth drunken. The nation had drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And like I said, you see the nations are gearing up for World War Three. And they and they wanna get their lip back at Babylon the Great, which they are gonna get their chance, you know, via the thermonuclear missiles. You know what I'm saying? They gonna get their revenge for what this place have done, but at the end of the day, yeah, how about Shim Al Shah is going to crush this place, man? He's going he gonna to crush all these wicked kingdoms. And he's going to set up the, the throne of David, which is the kingdom of heaven, which are going to be ruled by the Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But let's continue. It said, Babylon is suddenly fallen. You know, you can get that in Revelation chapter 18, roughly around verse 2. And destroyed. How for her? Take bomb for her pain. If so, she may be healed. You know what I'm saying? And this place is falling, and it's falling at a very rapid rate. You see that the tear rain, you got you have division here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? People are divided over the Jews. You have a great division about that. You have the macinated against the unmacinated. You know what I'm saying? And you have... Uh, you have, you know, the government is at war with the uh, the quote unquote American citizens. You know what I'm saying? This place is falling and it's going to be destroyed by the thermonuclear missiles. You know what I'm saying? But we know that particular prophecies that also have to happen beforehand. And one of the main pro uh, prophecies that's going to have to take place is this family of the word. You know, they're going to shut down the internet. You know what I'm saying? All the videos that the brothers have done, you know, to push the gospel to the four corners of the earth, they, they're going to be, they, they're going to uh, be taken down. You know what I'm saying? It, you know what I'm saying? It, you know, ain't going to be no more uh, wine in the streets, meaning that this gospel is not no longer going to be preached. You know what I'm saying? And that's what when we know that the rest of the plagues are going to be coming when they shut down the uh, 
shut down the gospel, man. You know what I'm saying? But let's go on with verse 9, and it reads, He will have here Babylon, but she is not here. Forsake her. Let us go everyone to his own country. For a judgment reached up unto heaven, and it lifted up to the skies. And, you know what I'm saying? And Babylon, the great judgment, is, is reached up to Yahweh by Shem al -Shah. You know what I'm saying? And, and he's and he going to destroy her. He has a special judgment for Babylon the Great, man. And these other nations, they're going to be judged as well. You know what I'm saying? But particularly Babylon the Great is the center hub of wickedness. You know what I'm saying? Because this place is all these countries, all these particular rulerships missing to one. You know, Sodom and Gomorrah, Egypt, Nineveh. You know what I'm saying? It, it's plenty of other nations that this place had it missed into man I had all them particular nations I missed into one and and the judgment of this place is reach out to Yahweh Shah and he systematically is destroying this place. But let's go to Revelation chapter eighteen. This is more on uh, Babylon the Great and this is starting at the top of verse one and it reads and after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power, and the earth was light with his glory. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen and fallen, and become the habitation of devils. And he holdeth every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird, you know, every sin, every wickedness that you know, know the man come out here it coming from here from Babylon the Great because Babylon the Great it has produced all types of wickedness you know and as I said earlier you know they tell you that, that the, uh, the uh, eight year old boy or eight year old girl you know using as an example could pretty much uh, tell the parents that they don't want to be their particular gender you know if a boy don't don't want to be a boy he wants to be a girl in this particular system you know they they tell you that he has he he or she has the right to do that and you and you can't impede their progress you know for example and, and for example you know i seen this you know some time ago i think like a couple weeks ago that uh that this uh they were like a, i will say she was uh they were like a 11 or 12 years old, 12 year old girl. Um, she she wanted to be a boy, but uh, <clears throat> but the uh, mother said no, and uh, and she pretty much. <laughs> so, you know she she uh, you know being a spoiled brat. You know, she was, you know, pretty much had temper tantrum and pretty much saying that, you know, her mother would, you know, would cause her mental anguish and things of that nature. But fast forward, it got to a point that the system got involved and, and they were scolding the mother for uh, not letting her become uh, uh, becoming a boy, showing that this place is wicked. And, and sooner or later, I'm just saying it like this, you know, just speaking as a man at this point, if I'm going to get back to the uh, the top of the hand. But sooner, sooner or later, you you know, you parents, you're not going to have any rights over your children. You know what I'm saying? This is what it's all going to boil down to because this place, it pretty much going to tell you that you no longer can discipline your children. You know, you no longer to tell them what's right and what's wrong. You know what I'm saying? They're going to tell you that uh, your children is allowed to make their own decisions. They're allowed to do what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? And and you have no say in their life. And it's going to come to that. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just speaking as a man at, at that part. But I, I truly believe that it's going to come to that that you no longer can uh, discipline your children. You know what I'm saying? If you try to discipline them, 
you know what I'm saying? Even though that it, you know that uh it's some cases they do that if you try to discipline them, you you you'll uh, be thrown into prison or uh, you'll be labeled as the enemy. But at the end of the day these people, you know, they 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 all in rebellion against Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, particularly over here in Babylon the Great. The rulership here like the brothers say, they will swear on the Bible, but if, if anything that's other other scriptures, they do they they do contrary, you know, to the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Mean that they'll swear on the Bible, and they say they'll hold everything that's in the scriptures, but do the exact opposite. And that's the reason why you see the messed up state that this place is in now. You know what I'm saying? The whole world is in the messed up place, man, because the, the people that are ruling, you know what I'm saying, they rule in wickedness. You know, they have no desire to serve you out by Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because in their mind, they want to be the most high, particularly, you know, in, in Babylon the Great. These people ain't, ain't don't have no fear of you by Shem Al Shah. They, they will tell you that, that uh, you're the problem, man. You know what I'm saying, and and uh, and and you see all types of weakness that going on in this place. You know what I'm saying. But let's continue. Revelation 18 and three. It reads, "For all the nation has drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication, and the kings of the earth had committed fornication with her." And the merchant of the earth had waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, and all these. Other nation had benefited off Babylon the Great. You know they they got rich off her. And how did how did this place get rich? Out the bath of the Israelites. You know the so-called Black Latino Native American. These nations had gotten rich off of you, man. Particularly here in Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying this place had got rich off the backs of the so-called Black Latino Native Americans. You know the biblical Israelites. You know what I'm saying? And these other nations benefit as well. That's really why they're going to be part of this judgment too. You know what I'm saying? Some of these ICBMs are going to hit over, over, over there in particular spots. You know, on the other side on the other side of the globe. But particularly, the majority of the missiles are going to hit this place, Babylon the Great. And it's going to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? And all these nations that join up to her, they're going to be judged as well, man. You know what I'm saying? But particularly, Esau Edom is going to be judged, and particularly, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. Revelation 18 and 4 says, And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people, that ye be part, be not partaker of her sins, that ye receive not of her plagues. For a sin that reach unto heaven, and Yahweh have remember her iniquities and and it, and the sins of Babylon the Great. We read that in Jeremiah, the fifty-first chapter. You know, what I'm saying you know, the Most High remember the sins of Babylon the Great. You know, what I'm saying, and he and he's judging this place, and and the big judgment what's gonna happen, the end all be all is gonna be the ICBMs. You know what I'm saying? But before that, that that's going to take place, the destruction of Babylon the Great and its wicked system. We know that particular th uh, prophecies has to come to pass. You know, the uh, MOTB, which we're going to go ahead and get in Revelation the 4th, the 13th chapter. You know what I'm saying? This particular B system has to be taken down. You see? Uh, we're going to start at, uh, at the uh, 11th verse. And we're going to uh, read all the way down to the end. And it reads, And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth, and had and he had two horns like a lamb that spake as a dragon. And it's talking about uh, America, Babylon the Great. And it... um. And the two horns are the two uh, parties, you know, which is Democrat and Republicans, you know, showing that this is Rome all over again because Rome had uh, two uh, political parties as well. You know, I, I, I start with two P's, I think, 
the champions and put, you know, I can't think of the names off top. You bro could correct me on that. Um, you know what I'm saying? He speaks like a lamb, you know, talking about Babylon the Great. You know, they speak all kind and acting like they care about your your uh, interests and all these things. But, you know, at the end of all, he speaks as a dragon, meaning that, uh, you know, they further come at you with that lamb-like spirit being all meek and humble. But then all of a sudden, you see they'll come in in a different spirit. You know, Joe Biden showed you that example of that, you know. He, he said that, uh, at first, you know, you're not required to take, you know, the juice. You know what I'm saying? But then he turned around, he said, and then he speaks at the dragon saying that, oh, it's not about your freedom. You know, he, now he's mandating, he's, he's mandating for you to take the juice. You know what I'm saying? That's an example of that. You know, he came as a, you know, as a lamb, like, you know, being nice and all this stuff. But then all of a sudden, he started to show his true color once he's in office. What did the scripture tell you? It tells you to never trust thy enemy. You know what I'm saying? For it's iron rust, it's so is it's wickedness. And the scripture tells us plain as day. You know, you should never trust your enemy. You know what I'm saying? Because they're always going to have something up their sleeve to try to overthrow you, trying to cast you into a pit. You know, but our people don't believe it. You know, and they constantly believe in this devil time. And time again, and look what the devil had did unto him, you know, always throwing them into a pit, you know what I'm saying, and, and these devils, that's how they do, they come, they won't come in that lamb-like spirit, but but then and out of their mouth, they speak as a dragon, meaning that they come with their draconian laws, all the, all the wicked laws that they're passing, you know, to try to get you to comply to their beast system. Well, let's continue with uh, Revelation 13 and 12. And it reads, He exercised all the power of the first beast before him, which, like I said, this is, this is the Roman Empire all over again. You know, this is the revived Roman Empire. But let's continue. And cause it the earth, that, and then there which, that's a lot, and cause it the earth, and then which the well they in to worship the first beast, who daddy wound was here and that's going back to the Roman Empire. You know, it was taken down, you know, by the Israelites. And you know, that in the that period of a thousand years, Israel Israelites, you know, the Israelites ruled. And then at the, at the end of that thousand year period, you know, you know, uh, you know, Esau Edom came back into power, you know, which they called the uh, Renaissance period, which the word Renaissance mean rebirth. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And that daddy wound was healed, man. You know, they came back into power. You know, but let's continue. And verse 13, and he does great wonders so that he making fire coming down from heaven on earth in the sight of men. You know, they talking about those nuclear bombs. You know, they dropped on uh, Hiroshima and Nagasaki. You know what I'm saying? The, the main two places over there in Japan. You know they use uh they knew use uh, atomic bombs, you know to the you know drop on Hiroshima and Nagasaki, you know that what it talks about uh they make it fire come down for heaven on the earth, you know what I'm saying, you know it's talking about them uh them uh new them uh atomic bombs. But verse fourteen reads and deceive them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles. Which he had do, which he had power to do in the sight of men. <clears throat> That's like in the sight of the beast, saying to them that dwell on the earth that they should make an image into the beast, which had a wound by a sword and did live. You know they're talking about you know the Roman Empire brought down now, you know they were brought down, but now they back into power. Now they they have a hold on, on the, all the earth, man. <laughs> And who's ruling uh, the Roman Empire? We know that we all know that's uh, Esau Edom, so-called white man. You know what I'm saying? He's in rulership of the Roman Empire. You no, know, he was in rulership of the Roman Empire, and now he's in rulership of the revived Roman Empire. You know what I'm saying? And and what's that image unto the beast, as the scriptures say? You know, you got the AI technology. You know what I'm saying? You know, you you see that this is uh 
uh, you know, Babylon the Great all over again. You know what I'm saying? It's Babylon all over again. You know, here you go to Genesis chapter 11. It talks about Nimrod, you know, want to build a tower. You know what I'm saying? And these people, their whole goal is to build that new world order, which build that, you know, that, that tower all over again, man. But they, this time it's going to be a, a technological tower. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, and, and they, uh, um, you know, plan on taking this thing even further, man. You know what I'm saying? But we all know that this is, this, you know, these things are going to fail. You know what I'm saying? And they're going to fail miserably by trying to build this, uh, by trying to build this tower. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 they're, and they're going to fail. You know what I'm saying? According to the scriptures, they're going to fail. And they're gonna fail miserably, you know. But let's continue with verse fifteen, and it reads, "And he had the and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, and that the image of the beast should both speak, and call that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed." You know what I'm saying? And, and like I said, and and getting that juice, you know. It's part of, but it's not the MOTB, it's not the Karama, but that's leading up to getting, getting the uh, Karama, man, because getting the juice is part of, of, the, of the test run to see how many people that's going to get the juice. You know, if you, uh, pretty much, if you get the juice, you more likely, you're going to get the Karama, you know what I'm saying? You, you, you're going to get that MOTB because that's what it's leading to. And uh, when it talks about if you don't worship the image of the beast, you're going to be killed. But, you know, when you think about being killed, you know, people think about it as a physical sense. Yeah, that's part of it. You can be killed in a physical sense, but also you can be killed by uh, being, uh, not being on a grid and, and uh you know, you're not uh, able to, uh, you know, live a normal life, meaning that you're not able to, uh, you know, go and, uh, you know, work work your normal job or to take care of your family. You can also be killed in that department as well, man. Because uh, these people are, are really pushing this, uh, you know, this juice. If they are pushing this juice and saying that you're not able to do particular things, you're not going to be able to have have a place of employment, how much more are these people going to do when the, when the uh, MOTB really comes out, man? You know what I'm saying? They, you know, they, they are here, they are here making life miserable if you don't take the uh, juice. You know what I'm saying? And, and taking that juice is pretty much, you know, you pretty much bind yourself to the system. You know what I'm saying? We, it, and let's make it very clear, the juice is not the MOTB. You know what I'm saying? But that's leading up to the MOTB. And you got a lot of people uh, uh, refusing to, to take the juice. But, you know, they're going to come down with strict laws, strict measures. Um, They're going to say you, you got to have, you know, they already saying you got to have particular passports, particular uh, green cards. To, to show that you took the juice, you know what I'm saying? If you ain't took that juice, you know, you, you going to, uh, <clears throat> you're not going to be able to live a normal life. And even if you take the juice, you have particular people that took the juice and, and they still lo lost their place of employment. You know what I'm saying? But this devil just being the devil, man. First, verse 16, Revelation 13 and 16. And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive the karama in their right hand or in their foreheads. And no man can buy or sell, say he that had the karama, the name of the beast, or the number of his name. And he, and if you don't have the karama, the MOTB, as the scripture said in verse 16, you're not going to be able to buy or sell. You know, you're not going to be able to, uh, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to live a normal life if you don't have the Karab. 
particularly in this beach system. You're not going to be able to live a normal life. You're not going to be able, able to uh, um, go out and do the normal activities. You're not going to be able to uh, provide for your family unless you had a caraba. You know, that's written and that's coming up shortly. You know, they already doing this, you know, to the juice. I mean, if you didn't have, you don't have the juice, you're not going to be able to live a normal life. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to function in this society. But that's the reason why the men of the Lord are crying out to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh particularly the men, women, and children of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh the elect is crying out for this place to be destroyed, man. I look at what's going on. You can't even uh, have a normal life if you don't take take the carabin, you don't take the, uh, you know, the serpent juice, you know what I'm saying? You're not going to be able to have a normal life. And, you know, and you got Jake that is out here, you know what I'm saying? They they don't trust in your house by Shema Al-Shah. You got Jake who quick and run up and they'll take anything. You know, you could tell, uh, you could tell Jake that, uh, you know, you got to be gentle with, with doo-doo. You know, in order to live a normal life, you you had you had a particular trait that go out and do it. Why? Because they, you know, what I'm saying Jake Jake is that impressionable. You know, majority of Jake is J that impressionable. They'll do anything to try to keep the society afloat. But you know, it's gonna be to no avail on their end, man. Cause this place is destined to go down. You know what I'm saying? This place is destined to be destroyed. And we already seeing it be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? What did the scripture say in Job 5 and 12, man? Just get that. You know what I'm saying? This B system is going down, man. Let's get that in Job 5 and 12. It reads, he disappointed the devices of the crafty, so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. And guess what? Their hand is not going to be able to... Uh, uh, Forming an enterprise mean that he's gonna take down this B system. You know what did the scripture say in a, in his fullness thereof? You know when you think he has his new world order and all these things off the ground, your your how about Shema Shah gonna cast his wrath upon him while he's eating? You know what I'm saying he's not gonna be able to. You know his uh, enterprise is not gonna go for because he's gonna be a particular. Time period that Yahweh Hashem Al Shah is gonna put a stop to that, and that's in Job 14 and 5. You know, we might get that a little bit. Verse 13, it reads, He taketh the wise and their own craftiness, and the counsel of the forward is carried head on. And these people are, are again took it in their own craftiness, you know, because they said, uh, try, they said snares for Jake, and by them saying snares for Jake. You know, they been taking their own snare, man. You got them, they sitting back and, uh, you know what I'm saying? They, they saying that if you don't take the juice, you're not going to have a job. But then at the end of it all, they get taking their own snare because who who know, who they going to get to replace those people that refuse to take the juice? You know what I'm saying? They, they been taking in their own craftiness, man. And, and that shows you that the wisdom in uh, teaming, which is the wisdom on Esau Edom, is foolishness, man. They've been taking in their own net, you know, and it's all the will of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? They've been taking their own own net, you know what I'm saying? And and that's the will of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. They've been disappointed in, in their own devices, man. They've been taking hell on their own craftiness. You know what I'm saying? You know, they... You know, they being confounded on every level. You know, and, and, and why is that? Because Yahweh Hashem Al-Shah is exposing the devil on, on every level. And that's the reason why you got the devil coming down with great wrath. Because he knows he has for a short time. And you got to be, uh, be, be prepared, man, because the devil is going to come down with great wrath. He already mad because his kingdom is coming to an end. And that's the reason why he's pushing this juice. That's the reason why he's pushing the karatma. That's the reason why he, he's demonizing, you know, you so-called black Latino Native Americans because he really is coming after you. 
because of the fact of the matter is that his kingdom is coming to an end. The fact of the matter that he knows that his time is almost up. And so he so what did the scripture say in Revelation chapter twelve verse thirteen? After you know he's coming down with great wrath. You know, let's get there. Who who is he coming after? You know, particularly if you look at it in this uh in the scheme of things in this beast system, who's he making a face of, of those that are rebelling? You Israelites. He's saying that you the one you the main ones that are rebelling. But but all the while, his own people, the Edomites are the one that's rising up and exposing him on every level. But he's making you the face of rebellion. Why is why is he doing that? Because he wants to persecute you Israelites. And you can get that we're gonna read that in Revelation chapter twelve, verse thirteen. And it and it reads that when the dragon, which is Esau Edom, saw that he was cast into the earth, he persecuted the woman which brought forth the man child, and he's coming out to you Israelites, you so called black Latino Native Americans. Because he's saying that everything that he's done it it, it you know what I'm saying, is coming to the north. You know what I'm saying? He's being exposed on every level. And now, you know, by him being exposed on every level, he's mad and upset. He really wants to come out to the men of the Lord because, you know, the men of the Lord are pretty much, you know, through the spirit and the power of Yahweh by Hashem and is 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 exposing the devil plans before he even do it. You know what I'm saying? And and the devil is mad because he realized that his plans is being being exposed. You know, they, they, they were used to taking their time doing particular things, and now they're seeing that the Israelites are waking up, repent, coming back to Nancy Hobbit, Shim Al Shah. I'm talking about the elect. And and he devil realized what time it is. They, they, they said, oh, we got to work fast now. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, they they, they being exposed, you know, the stuff that they're doing is sloppy. You know, they don't care anymore, and they, they're basically, you know, pushing forward with their plans. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, we read this, we know that Yahweh Shem Al Shah, you know, he disappointed the device of the crafty. We read that in uh, Job 5 and 12, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he going to disappoint the devices of the crafty so that they hand cannot perform their perform they enterprise, meaning that they knew world order. You know, which they really laud and they're pushing and, and doing all all types of things, it's gonna it's gonna come to naught, man. A lot. They they knew world order is gonna come to naught. You know what I'm saying? Because most high is gonna cast cast this 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 uh if they plan down, man, he's gonna cast down a particular rulership. A lot. He's going to cast down their rulership. And these devil know this, man. They know that Yahweh by Shem Al Shah going to cast down their rulership. You know what I'm saying? And why? Because this devil know that his, his uh, he know that Jake is on his heel, man. You know what I'm saying? We know, according to the scripture, that this devil. Is is a uh, uh, you know what I'm saying he he's about to go down and let's get that in uh second Ezra chapter uh six you know the points are nine but we're gonna start at seven it's like but but all these things are tied up one with another because uh we know that this. This devil is going down, man. And this is second Ezra chapter six, verse seven, and it reads let's let's, let's uh get the whole thing. And it and it reads, uh, then answer I and said, What shall be the part of the son of, of the times? I when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that father was. He said unto me, From Abraham unto Isaac. When Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob hand held first the hill of Esau, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow us. And this and this the time period we we uh approaching to that Esau is gonna be the end of the world, meaning that this 
Esau is currently in rulership right now, and it's tied up with synonymously with, you know, they ruling Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. You know what I'm saying? A.k.a., you know, the revived Roman Empire. Because this is Rome all over again. You know what I'm saying? And, and who ruled Rome back then when Yahweh Shah was on the scene? Esau, even the so-called white man. And who's going to be ruling uh, the revived Roman Empire now? When your house shot comes back in its in jelly form, Esau eat them, the so called white man. You know what I'm saying? This devil is being taken out of power, man. You know what I'm saying? And these devils know that Jacob is on on, uh, on his heel, and, and, that's and that's a vexation unto Esau eat them. That's the reason why they've been sloppy with pushing their new world order. They've been sloppy with the, the Jews. You know, they've been sloppy with, you know, they, they, they uh, wisdom. You know, they being caught in lie after lie after lie after lie after lie. You know what I'm saying? They being caught in all types of lies, man. And you know what I'm saying? And they being very sloppy with their work because they know that Jacob is on his heel. And who is Jacob? You know, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, which are the, you know, which consists of these so-called black, Latino, Native Americans. And also, we have, we have Israelites that are scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. But that's another you know, lesson for another day. But uh, getting back on point with with the lesson is that you see that uh, this B system, you know, it's been, it's been implemented, being put into play. And as the brother said, you know, the B system is all around you. But uh, you how about Shem Al Shai going to take down this B system? You know, we just read to you that Esau's the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. You know what I'm saying? This, this beast system is going to go down. Well, let's go back to uh, the book of Job. You know, we're going to go to Job 14 and 5, showing you that the Most High is going to take down this system, man. You know? And and this is uh, Job chapter 14. And this is verse 5. And it reads, saying his days are determined, the number of his months I would be. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. You know, and the devil has particular bounds that he cannot pass. He has his particular hour, day, month, year. You know, you know that uh, Yahweh by Shem Al is gonna put put a stop to the devil's plans, and and uh, and they're gonna be taken out of power. So uh, Esau Edom is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know, so as we read in Micah 2 and 10, to you Jace out there, you know, it said, uh, this is not your rest. You know what I'm saying? We should not be finding ourselves being attached to this uh, wicked and decrepit system. We should be finding ourselves talking about God bless USA and all this other, other nonsense because the Most High is not blessing USA. He's, he's taking down USA, our Babylon the Great. You know what I'm saying? He's taking it down. You know what I'm saying? And he's taking it down first and foremost through the through the men of the Lord, you know, which is out on the which they are on the highways, byways, teaching and prophesying the downfall of this place. And and, and second of all, when you know when your house shot comes back along with the angels, he can, he's gonna he's gonna physically take this place down with the ICBM, man. Other uh, parts of the world gonna get hit. They gonna receive their judgment, but Babylon the Great is gonna be the main place that's gonna get judged by your how about Shem outside, man. This whole beast system that these people thought they gonna have set up and they thought that that is going to uh you know, it's gonna prosper and all that, it's gonna be taken down, man. So don't um uh, invest your time in beast system. Don't invest your time thinking that this place is gonna is gonna forever be uh is is it's gonna stand in its power, but this place is gonna fall. And uh and with that, I pray that you brother been edified with this lesson. I wanna give all praise, glory, honor to unto Yahweh Ba Shem Yahweh Shah, Ba Shem Rakakodash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone. And I respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon, Yahweh willing. 
Shalom, Ababa Ba, and Kwame Asharala. Shalom.